Hi, we are going to make grape leaves today. Um, I don't have a recipe, but I'm just going to show you how I make them. And I'm going to try to figure out my um, measurements as we go, okay? So, first you start out with making the meat and rice mixture. I'm going to see, I know there's four pounds in here, but I'm going to see how many pounds I want to use. So let's put that up here. And the grape leaves, those are so good. I love grape leaves. All right. The um, not bad part, but the yucky part is that you have to touch meat and I don't really like to do that, but it's okay. I will look through. Have my camera at a different angle so that you can see everything when I'm wrapping. I got the meat at the butcher's yesterday. Okay, that's not even a pound. Maybe I told him three pounds. It's one pound. Maybe I did say three. Well, I said four, but I think I want to use two pounds. Well, that's a little more. Okay, so we use two pounds. I must have told them three. That's fine. Two pounds of ground. I don't use lamb. You can use lamb. I don't. Okay, that's perfect. Um. I did get ground chuck. I wasn't going to make this. I was going to make hamburgers. And with hamburgers, you want to use ground chuck because you want the um, grease. But um, I should have gotten ground round or ground sirloin. But I think we'll be all right. Okay. So, two pounds of ground beef or ground sirloin. Let's do one... Two cups of long grain parboiled rice, Uncle Ben's rice, or whatever you have. Um, I put salt, so I'm going to see how much salt I think I'm going to use. Uh, I would say let's do... Let's do two teaspoons of salt. I know that seems like a lot, but I think that's good. Two teaspoons of salt. Okay. And then crushed mint, which we call nana. And you want the dried. And we want one, two, we're gonna do three teaspoons of crushed mint. Then we're gonna add lemon juice. And I'm going to put, oh, we gotta put pepper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. <laughs> ten times around the crushed thing. I don't know. Um, lemon juice. I'm going to do a fourth cup of lemon juice. Hmm. Let's do a half cup. Half cup of lemon juice. I feel like it needs more. Okay. Half cup of lemon juice. Now this is the gross part. you got to kind of get it all mixed. And really, truly, your hands are the best. So... Make sure your hands are washed. Ooh. Okay. And you just mix. I mean, really, this is what they do for... I mean, I guess they use gloves. I should have done that. I could use a glove. Um, because they do that at Chipotle when they're doing the rice. They, but they use a glove. But they mix it. Yeah, that's what I should do. All right, maybe I will. I have Mickey Mouse gloves, but they're rubber gloves, so I'd have to get food safety gloves, maybe. 
and then I could just take it off and not have to worry about washing my hands. Okay, so that's all you're adding is lemon juice, salt, pepper, and mint to your mixture. Two pounds of ground round is best. I'm using ground chuck, so there's going to be some fat. And I'm not using lamb. Lamb may be even leaner than that, so if you want to use lamb, you can. Did that rhyme? Lamb, you can. All right. When picking out grape leaves, if you're not using the fresh ones, you don't want the cheapest because they're terrible. They're like real viney and tough. I always buy this one. I think they're like $5.99 or $6.99 in a jar. Um, they do have ones that are $8.99, but I read it and it seemed exactly the same. So I'm like, eh. Now it says rinse each leaf before use. I never do. It's fine. They're fine. Okay. I'm going to go wash my hands. Okay. So I'm going to be sitting. I think this is the best. Okay. So you open that up. This is how it comes. So you carefully, because these are very, 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 um, like, do you see how that one tore? I don't even know if I touched it yet. But they're very um, <sighs> fragile. That's the word. I'm going to go dump the juice out. Christmas in July. These are very... Um, packed in here. So I kind of try to get all the juice out. Okay. Um, along with trying to get them out. You're going to probably destroy a few of them. That'll just have to be the way it is. Um, it's okay. So I got all the juice out. Oh, I hate this part because you you don't want to ruin any, but you know you got to get them out. And these are really packed in here. They're not usually <laughs> packed in here so badly. And I could shut it off and just say, okay, they came out. But I want you to kind of see my struggle because I want you to know that you got a good jar too. Oh my goodness. Okay. Once you get one out. Seriously, I am not lying. It is a struggle. Once you get one pack out, you'll be fine. Oh, okay. Phew. Oh my gosh, it's like giving birth. Oh, there you go. All right. Okay, you want to kind of keep this as dry as you can. Your hands will sometimes get stained um, green. Or brownish so my hands now look pretty good but they sometimes will get like I already just got um, a little leaf under my nail um, they'll get kind of gross that's just the way it is all right now if we're lucky okay so the other ones are very tough the cheaper ones and they have more of a stem and whatever so you really want to buy these instead you have to cut that little knobby thing off because no one wants to eat that. Just got to be careful with it. You know, I have kitchen shears. I might use two. That might be good. So I can just like snip it off. Okay. Alrighty. Here we go. So you get, my mom used to get like several. She'd get like six going at the same time. She must have had a bigger thing than me but anyways so I think the scissors are going to be the best for just oh yeah that's perfect okay so if you don't have kitchen shears for cooking that you can put in the dishwasher and wash when you're using them because I sometimes cut up bacon with them 
um, go to, if you, you don't want to spend a lot of money, you can go to Dollar Tree and they have, um, they're red and white. I'm trying to think the brand, Betty Crocker, I think. And you can use those as your kitchen shears, whatever. This one came with our, my Oneida set, so that's why I have those. Um, way better than the knife, I'll tell you that. Okay, so I'm glad I discovered that today. So these are a bit time consuming. So you're not going to be able to um, make grape leaves in a half hour and cook them and be, you know, on your way. This part takes some time because you got to roll them and put them in and then you got to, you know, cook them. The cooking's not even that hard. It's just all this other stuff. So what I'm going to do is, I'm trying to think how I want to do this. Okay, so you grab like some meat, like, like that. This is a big leaf though, so it needs a little more meat than that. And you kind of fill your leaf up. Now, with the rice, it's gonna expand because when it gets cooked or you know the fluid gets in it, it's gonna expand, which is okay. So you kind of want to have a little bit, and maybe you all know how to do this, I don't know, maybe you just wanted the recipe, but I'm trying to show people who um, have never done this that they can do it, and um, they will be good, and this is how I do it. So you can always fast forward if you're like, okay, I know how to do that part, okay? So you put it like there so you can, like kind of like pigs in the blanket, and then I roll it over. I'm not telling you I'm the best roller, okay? I am half Arabic, but um, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm the best. Okay, so, and you want it tight. So that's pretty tight. Um, because when it expands, you, you do want it tight, but you, you know, you don't want it falling apart. So then you're going to line your pan. I'm going to do some more, and then I'll probably shut it off until I'm pretty much done with the whole pan process. I'm thinking you can see. Okay, you can. All right. And they're not always going to be perfect, and it's okay. Just make sure you try to roll them as tight as you can, and it should kind of stick. Okay. And when you place them in your pan, I'll, I'll show you how you place them in your pan. It's, it's hard to explain when there's only two in there. So, today is Sunday. I stayed up later than I wanted to last night, um, which I'm paying for it today. Um, but, you know, we live and learn. And I made some muffins yesterday, which the kids all seem to like today. I need to go deliver some of those today, tonight. After I'm done with this, maybe I'll take some of these too. I don't know, we'll see. Okay. Okay, the lemon in here really brings out the flavors. Um, the lemon and salt, that's what I love. That's what in the nana or the mint. Um, it's really, really good. My kids used to not eat the grape leaf. So I would always make like little, I don't know, meatball patty things. But now they're good. They like it. I was going to make some lebony too. Or le le lebon? Or lebony? I think lebony is the um, the hard one that you can dip your grape leaves into. I don't remember. But I was like, eh, I'm not going to be that. I'll be, I'll be okay with this. Okay. These are nice, too, um, if you're having a party. Uh, and just, just to have them, you know, to cook them and to have them out. Because people that know what they are love them. Uh, people that don't will be like, ew, and pass them up, and that's okay too. Or you can have them try them, whatever you want to do. Okay. This is time consuming, this part. So this is what you're going to have to... Now, sometimes people only want to do um, half the jar, which I guess if you did half the jar, you would do half that recipe. I would not suggest that because if you're like me, even though you put the date on that jar, you're not going to take time again to do them all. 
You're just not, because right now I'm taking time. I'm not gonna do this in two days, take more time to roll these. So I may as well just do it all today, cook them all, and then what I can do is freeze them. They freeze very well. So you can do that. So, I mean, it's up to you. I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but that is what I would do. All right. I um, am gonna show you my pan. So I just have them stacked in there right now. And then as I get them filled, then I'll go this way with them. So they're, they're not, so they're tighter in there. I want them to fit as tight as can be. And I'll show you a trick that I do to keep them from, I never knew this until I watched my mom. Well, I guess I never really paid attention to her um, with her making them. But then I saw what she did and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can do that. So it's a little trick at the end before you bake, cook them, not bake them. And I never have made these in the Instapot, you know. Um, I have never had a reason to. Pretty much, you put them on the, um, oh, what's it called? This one, if you can see, there's going to be a lot of leaf in here. So when that person's eating, they're going to be like, ooh, a lot of leaf. I try to do it all the way over here, and I didn't on that one. Okay. This one's just a big one. Anyways, the Instapot. I have not had a reason to do um, grape leaves on the Instapot because it just works on the oven. It, it, it's perfect. You get it boiling, you boil them for 20 minutes and you're good to go. They are done, they're juicy, they're great. So I have not had a problem with that. I am going to fill my pan and then when I go to do it the other way, the opposite way, I'm gonna show you that too. But I could sit here and talk to you but it's kind of wasting your time. So I'll just do some and then get back with you, okay? Okay, um, I needed another pound of ground beef because I do not have them all done. This is what they look like. So they went this way, or no, they went this way. Now they're going this way, they're stacking up. Um, so for a jar, we're going to say three pounds of ground round, three cups of rice, and we said a half a cup of lemon juice. So let's go with three fourths cup of lemon juice. Sorry, that was loud in your ear. So sorry. Okay, and then we did 10, so 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We'll do another scoop of mint and salt. We did two tablespoons. We'll do just a half, two and a half. Okay. I have probably about oh, 10 or 11 left that I don't have um, a mixture for. So. So I will write down the recipe. I'll listen to myself and write it down before I post it so we can have a true accurate one. And the good thing is, even if there's extra, um, the kids love it. They'll just eat it without the, the leaf. So they're good. All right, I'm going to go wash my hands. I'll take a picture of that. Oh. Ah. Okay. It went off and then it came on. All right. So here is what it looks like. It's a big oval pan. Um, I had three little pieces left. Um, so what I do is put lemon juice in here. Um, let me... Let me, let me measure. Just about to do it. Um, let's see. I'm not sure how much I have lemon juice wise, but so one cup. 
one and a half. Okay, so one and a half is all I had um, in that bottle. And you need to fill it up to have the water come over the leaves. So I'm going to add my spices and then I'll add the water. I just think the more lemon, the better. I don't know. Now, I'm sure the grandmas and sitos and whatever use citric acid. But I don't do that. All right. Before I do that, I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt just around. I didn't add a teaspoon. I only did a half teaspoon. I'm going to add some nana or crushed mint. I'm going to add some pepper. Okay. And then we had one and a half cups of lemon juice. So, how much water? One, two, three, and a half so far. Three and a half of water. We gotta make sure the water covers all of that. Three and a half of water. We're going to add more. Hmm. Usually I just take it right over to the sink and do it, but okay. So this would be four cups of water. Five cups of water. If I had more lemon, I would have done it. Six cups of water. Okay, so you see how you can see the water now. Um, six cups. I'm going to put in seven cups. Okay. Because I don't, I, I like mine moist. So seven cups of water. Yep, that looks good. And then I'm going to do, I just got my lemon press or lemon whatever from Pampered Chef. I'm going to try to use it, assuming it goes like that. And you just squeeze it down. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. Wow. I hope we'll be making some lemon shakeups for sure with this. Okay, so there's that, and let me get the other one. I hope I'm doing it right. I mean, I'm assuming I am. Really, truly, the more lemon, the better. Okay, so how we keep these leaves from unraveling while they're baking or cooking, boiling, is you have to put something on. So you can put a plate, like a, uh, oh, what's it called? A china or whatever. Corral. 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 China. I don't know. Anyways, you can put a glass plate on. You can't use plastic. Or I have these. These look really gross. It's just because we have sulfur water. Um, but with the lemon, it'll, it'll take that yuck off. Um, so I put this on to keep it on there, kind of to push it down, keep it on. Then I'm going to put my lid on and then I'm going to cook these for, they have to boil for 20 minutes. So I'm going to start the oven and as soon as they, or the stove top, as soon as they start boiling, I'm going to do it for 20 minutes. Okay. So when the thing goes off, you want to take the biggest one or whatever on the top because the bottom ones should be cooked. You just want to make sure the top ones are cooked and if they're not, then you can ouch, um, keep them in. Like if this doesn't cook, I can put it back in. The meat does look done. You can see. You gotta see about the rice. I like my rice a little more done than that. 
I like it. Yum. You see it? It is good, but I'm going to put it on for another 10 minutes because I like my rice a little. I mean, it's soft, but I like it absorbed better. Okay, they are finished. Um, I'll let them sit. I'll keep the lid on and let them sit for probably about 10 minutes. And then we can eat them. So that is grape leaves. Yum, yum. Have a good Sunday.